Right. So I've got a Kickstarter running right now for Runecairn Warden Saga Remastered. So it's been running for about two weeks now. It's fully funded and it's hit a lot of the stretch goals, but there's still one more to go. And there's still about two weeks to go in the campaign. So I thought I'd run through the campaign, tell you a little bit about the book, what to expect in it, uh, what kind of rewards there are, that sort of thing. So a lot of this information is on the Kickstarter page itself, which I'll link in the description below. Sometimes it's nice just to hear straight from the horse's mouth what the campaign's about and why you should care, basically. So first of all, what is Runecairn? So Runecairn's a Norse fantasy TTRPG inspired by action role-playing video games like Dark Souls and Elden Ring. So it's based on lightweight New School Revolution, or NSR, systems into the odd in Cairn. So Rune Cairn was designed for two players, one GM, which is the Warden, and one player, which is the Adventurer. So what's in the book? So Rune Cairn Warden Saga Remastered is going to be an 84-page full-color hardcover and filled with black and white and color illustrations depicting the Norse fantasy world of the Nine Realms. So the book's got everything you need to run the game, from a quick one-shot, short dungeon delve, or epic campaign, including streamlined d20 roll under rules based on Cairn and Into the Odd. It's got souls-like mechanics such as resurrection at bonfires, respawning monsters, and dynamic combat. Included is a quick start dungeon crawl adventure beneath the broken sword, which is perfect for new GMs and players. It comes with four standard backgrounds, that's the hardy warrior, the nimble scout, the cunning seer, or the spirited scald. It also comes with two new advanced backgrounds, the Devastating Berserker, and the Fiery Pyre. So the book also includes options for solo play with a rune-based oracle and a delve generator for randomly creating dark fantasy dungeons. Perfect for a rune cairn. So you can also drop in additional players for jolly cooperation or for player versus player invasions. So I've already got a separate video on what's new and remastered, but to keep it short, you get a new layout, you get some tightened up and clarified mechanics. So I've also gone in and updated all of the uh, art, all of the illustrations in Warden Saga to add some extra color and texture to them. I've also done an editing pass to get rid of typos and correct some errors in the text. So what's the setting of Runecairn like? So Runecairn set in a world following the cataclysmic events of Ragnarok, which was an apocalyptic battle between the gods and the Jotun. In the aftermath of this battle, nine realms burn in fire and drown in flood. Most of the gods are either dead or missing, and the ruins of the old world are lost to time and new growth. So you play an adventurer who's been reborn into this new world after living and dying in the old one. You're untethered from the skein of fate, and you're free to carve your own destiny. Who you were before does not limit who you can become. So when I say Runecairn's a Souls-like, what does that mean exactly? So there's a few key elements to this. First one is weapon as class. So your background provides starting equipment and skills, but doesn't dictate your fate. You can change your class by switching to a different key item. For instance, as a warrior, you can block and parry with your shield, but if you want to become a Scald, drop your shield and grab a Runic Focus instead. So it's also Souls-like in its dynamic combat. So you can react to enemy attacks and parry, block, dodge, or deflect before they hit. You need to manage fatigue and resilience to balance risk and reward. Much like in Dark Souls, progression is done a bit differently. You need to seek mighty foes to defeat and grow stronger with their souls. You need to explore lost ruins dripping in demonic magic and claim the relics held within. So I've talked about the game itself, but what about the pledge levels when you back on the Kickstarter? So there's three basic pledge levels and then there's bundles. So essentially this, this boils down to if you want the PDF, if you want the hardcover, or if you want the variant hardcover. So the first cover is from Krom. He did the cover on Runecairn Warden Saga. He does amazing work. But the variant edition is fully painted and is from Annemieke van Barlingen. She releases art under Blue Fern Arts. So both the hardcover and the variant edition are going to be 84 page hardcovers. They're going to be Smithstone. One of the stretch goals was to unlock a bookmark ribbon and that's been met. So both types of the hardcover, the standard edition and the variant, will have that yellow bookmark ribbon. So there's also some bundles. So previously I'd released a hardcover version of the Runecairn Bestiary, so you can get a bundle with the new Warden Saga Remastered and the Bestiary, and for those bundles you can choose whether or not you want the Chrom cover or the variant painted cover. So at higher tiers, um, you get some cool stuff with the bundles as well, like a an Odin patch, um, character sheets, uh, a set of A5 art prints, and your name is going to be carved into the skein of fate within Runecairn Warden Saga Remastered itself. So if you're the type of backer that wants everything, then you're going to want to go for the Nine Realms bundle. So that comes with both versions of the book, the standard Chrome cover and the variant painted cover, and you also get a copy of the Runecairn Bestiary with that, along with all the patches and everything else. For the Nine Realms bundle, every book you get will be signed by me. So the rewards and add-ons that you can get. So I've already talked a bit about the patches. The Runecairn patch is a, an embroidered iron-on patch. It's yellow and black. It depicts a Runecairn bonfire surrounded by the words Runecairn, translated into a younger Futhark. Now the Odin patch is a stylized version of my logo, uh, but it's done in a Viking Age style. Uh, it looks really cool. So I've already mentioned that we've hit some stretch goals already. 
that includes the yellow bookmark ribbon. We've also unlocked Into the Nine Realms in PDF. So it's a collection of one-page dungeons for Rune Cairn. So these are perfect to run as one-shots or to drop in an existing campaign. We've also unlocked additional illustrations for Into the Nine Realms. So Felipe Fari is going to be doing eight full-page black and white illustrations for it. So the final stretch goal hasn't been unlocked yet as of recording. But when we hit that stretch goal, that'll include a copy of Into the Nine Realms as a printed zine for everyone who backed at a physical level or above. So I've already talked a bit about the inspiration behind Rune Cairn. So I took inspiration from Norse myths and legends in Icelandic sagas like the Poetic Edda, Prose Edda, and Volruspa, along with more contemporary representations of Norse gods in American gods which shows how belief changes gods over time and how all myths are malleable. So mechanically, Rune Cairn is closest to Cairn, with me bringing my love of crunch to make combat more tactical and dynamic, and closer to an actual Souls-like. Working on Rune Cairn gave me enough experience to write for the official Dark Souls RPG, which was a dream come true. So for shipping and fulfillment, so we ship almost everywhere in the world, there's just a few places we don't ship to. So shipping costs are collected separately after the campaign through backer kit, our pledge manager. So US fulfillment is going to be handled by Space Penguin Inc. And I'll be shipping books for everywhere else in the world. And I'm glad to say that we do offer EU friendly shipping. So after the campaign, when you pay for shipping, we'll collect VAT as well. So you don't won't have to pay for it when it enters your country. And digital fulfillment is going to be handled by DriveThruRPG and itch.io as usual. So keep an eye on the Kickstarter campaign page. I'm posting updates regularly. So I've been sharing sneak previews of the art from Felipe Faria for Into the Nine Realms. I'm also going to be sharing with the completed Chrome cover when that's available, as well as the fully painted cover from Anamika once she's done the final version. So if you like the sound of any of this, check out the Kickstarter page and back if it sounds like Ruin Karen is a good fit for you. Thanks.